What's up, guys? It's your girl, Diva Sham, and I am back. Yes, yes, I am back. I know y'all thought it was going to be another two years before another video, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Um, I've been having this feeling I need to stick, you know, something's been telling me, and I know it's nothing but God speaking, that I need to stick with what I know and what started this whole Famous Diva Sham movement, which was here with you guys on my YouTube videos. But, um... This video is just basically on um oh ratchet as Franklin School of Beauty, um Houston Beauty that's what it's called and of course the season premiere last night of um Real Housewives of Atlanta. But let's just jump right in, right in. We're gonna start off with the ratchetness first. You know I was um I was a little skeptical of the whole Houston Beauty thing, but I I I still recorded it. And so I started watching it, and I was like, you know what? I can't do this. I can't. I just can't. I can't, and I won't. Because I was just like, no, how you putting on for Houston like that? But I went back. I went back, and I'm glad I did go back. Um, I must say, it is pure comedy. It is pure comedy. From Mia Ryan to um, Quincy Lee. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, baby. Um, to Graves, to the other Ratchets, um, even, ah, I can't think of the guy's name, um, he was in Mia Ryan's group, he was in Mia's group, I'm gonna just call him Mia, um, they all had something to offer, and after, you know, watching the, uh, season premiere, and actually watching the characters, and seeing, not characters, because they are real people, um, actually seeing what it is that they are about, they each just have a story to tell at the end of the day. And that's it. But the way they tell their story, honey, God. But, um, let's see. You got, okay, okay let's see. You have Mia Ryan. Um, she went in and she explained the whole why some people call her Mia and why some people call her Ryan. Really, I think the Ryans just be shade. When they call you Ryan, that's what I think it is. It just be shade, honey. Um, you have Quincy. Um, I like to call her Team Bougie because she, she be working. She walked in there the first day of school and she owned it just like a real diva should. And, you know, I just, I, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of liking the characters. Out of the entire cast, those two would have to be my, have to be my favorite. I ain't really got a feel for Grace yet. I mean, I must give it to you. In your confessional, you be beat, baby. You be beat. But, um... I haven't really filled out her character yet to really, you know, just comment on her. But it was this one particular scene when they were getting ready to do their commercials. And old girl came up because, um, what is it? Quincy Lee didn't want um, her client to ruin her red bottom. Uh, to me, that was a little extra. But, I mean, hey, you know, it is what it is. She was looking out for her client. But for old girl to run up on her like that, y'all in beauty school. And for her to run up on you like that, like she was going to do something just for some words, you should have tapped that ass with a hot comb. That's what you should need to do. Because y'all all saw them roots and y'all all saw that hair before dude put that cap on there. So uh, you should have you should have laid this shit like a, a temper pity baby. That's what that's what that should have been. But, um, like I said, I'm a, I might continue watching it and see what's going on. You know, I'm glad Houston is getting a little recognition. It's been getting recognition, even if it is a little ratchet. But, you know, it is what it is. And, like I say, it's, it's fun. I have to say, after watching this, though, I thought Remington, because, you know, I, I, I just finished beauty school back in May. I thought Remington was ratchet as hell. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. Not this one. Maybe Franklin makes Remington look like Aveda Institute. And for those who don't know about Aveda, Aveda is um a school, also a beauty school out in the woodlands that is, you know, predominantly white. But uh Remington and y'all y'all are okay in my book now after seeing what's going on in Franklin. And I can't lie, uh I thought Franklin was shut down, but hey, no shade though. I'm just I'm just saying, that's what I thought. But anyway, enough with the ratchetness for Houston Beauty. I'll get I'll get on that later. Did y'all see the opening the season the season premiere of Real Housewives of Atlanta last night? It was you know, it 
I like how it picked up, you know, with Portia, baby. Portia hair, that go naked hair, whatever the case may be. That's all she needs. That's all she needs. That hair was laid. Like, her hair in every confessional and every scene gave me every bit of life that I could have possibly needed. And y'all know I try to keep my life right. But, um... Her hair gave me like Portia. You did that go naked hair. You did that. You know that was that was what was up. Nene, of course I love Nene, y'all. If you know me personally, you know I'm telling you, I'm trying to get that Nene Lakes money. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to be what she was. You know, to turn reality TV into something that she has now. Fabulous, fabulous, baby, fabulous. Uh, Portia, like I said, I talked about Portia. Her hair was just everything. The whole Cordell thing, I mean, that's, uh, you know, it is what it is. I have no doubt in my mind that she ain't going to come back and just do the damn thing because she's gorgeous, you know. And she, her hair is awesome, you know. When your hair is awesome and you're gorgeous, there's nothing that can stop you. Uh, Phaedra, she just had the baby. So there's not too much to talk about Phaedra. So, you know, give that a little pass, you know, congrats on, the sec on your second the president that kind of threw me off though you got the prince and then you got the president whatever to each his own uh kenya moore child when nini asked her did she want her to pee in her cup i think i died three times and came back five yes died three and came back five i was too tickled that just really really tickled me and nini told her gone and win fabulous was so last season and it, and it was and i saw somewhere that you know that kind of looked a little crazy i mean can you more really who the hell was pushing for you before your season on uh real housewives and I, no shade you know i'm just i'm just keeping it real i mean i knew who you were but i mean it wasn't like no if i saw you in the street i want you to take a picture and snap a shot or get an autograph i'm just saying you know but um i didn't <laughs> that whole you not going to the wedding because of walter Child, Walter ain't checking for you. He wasn't checking for you. Let that be. Let that be. And if that's what you're going to use to try to stay relevant on the show, somebody, um, get get Toya her slot. You know, get Toya her slot. Because that is uncalled for. I'm going to need you to come better with that. And then Candy. Of course, I love Candy, guys. Um, Like I say, it wasn't too much. She didn't give too much. But I have to say, y'all, and these Instagram pictures of her with her curly hair, and then the straight, I must say, yes, the straight was laid. It made me want to go back to my red. Um, the curly was cute. I mean, you know, she, she was chilling. But for y'all to do some of them Instagram pictures y'all did, y'all wrong. That was so much shade. Y'all need some sun. That was so much. It's just, just cut it out. Cut it out. But I am looking forward to this season, especially with the drama from her mom not liking Todd. Um, this friend, this all this, I'm ready to see what Kenya Moore did for Phaedra to call, you know, the police. I'm just ready. So, you know, you guys leave me comments. You want to you wanna see me do a show, um, do a review for a show and do a show too. Okay, bravo, we TV. Get with it. Um, revolt, all y'all get with it. Um, just let me know. Y'all know to find me on Instagram at Famous Diva Sham. Also on Twitter at Famous Diva Sham. And I'm too much Facebook. Just find me on those two. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, you've been rocking with the diva, y'all. And I'm out. Bye.